Yo, what is up, YouTube? Fury here, bringing you guys a brand new video. And in today's video, we're gonna be talking about kill cams being introduced into Fortnite. It's something people have been talking about quite a bit on Reddit, and it's something that we definitely would like to see in Fortnite some somehow be implemented into the game. But before we get into today's video, if you guys do enjoy, drop a like, subscribe if you guys are new to the channel, and if you don't have my post notifications turned on, click that little bell next to the subscribe button. You get notified every time I go live or post a new video. And if you get first like on any of my videos, send me an image on Twitter and I hit you guys back with that follow. With that said, let's get right into the video. If you guys are interested in winning some free V-Bucks, we are currently giving away 6,000 V-Bucks to you guys. All you gotta do to enter is like the video, subscribe if you aren't already, and turn on those post notifications, as well as follow the Gleam link in the description down below. There's going to be six winners, 1,000 V-Bucks each. Good luck to everyone. Kill cams have been a thing in most shooter games for quite a while now. You guys, if you guys don't know what they are exactly, it's when you get killed you can watch how you got killed their perspective the enemy's perspective on how they killed you and i think it'd be a good implementation into fortnite because there's a lot of kills that you don't know how you died where you died from or anything like that so i definitely think fortnite should implement this in some way now whether it be it pops up after every death or if it's like a menu where you click it and you want to you know watch what just happened or if it's just like uh you know turn on and turn off kind of thing in the settings menu but i definitely think it'd be a good option if it was you know whenever you wanted say if you died um, you can go automatically spectating your teammates or you can just leave the game or you can hit like you know triangle or something in in the death screen and see the kill cam I definitely think that'd be a good idea now even if they didn't want to implement it that way per death or per kill I should say maybe they should implement it the final kill of every game no matter what if you win you see the kill cam if you lose you see the kill cam just a, like a final kill cam type of thing like they do in Call of Duty like search and destroy after the round the final kill of the round gets displayed as, as the kill cam or maybe they do what Call of Duty does now and where at the half say of domination or end of TDM they show the best clip um, now obviously that might be a little bit difficult to show in Fortnite because you're not going to be getting many two pieces three pieces especially in solos but I could definitely see like a good team wipe happening as a final kill cam for the final not final kill cam but more of a play of the game type thing overwatch does this now, i'm not completely sure if it'd work in fortnite because there are too many players you'd be just getting single kills here and there but i definitely think it could be an idea that they might toss around now if they were to implement this into squads and duos and stuff like that they definitely have to wait for the kill cam to pop up after your teammates are all dead because it would be kind of unfair if you get knocked down or you get eliminated um, for them to show you the kill cam of the enemy that way you guys can just call out on where they are and stuff like that it'd be kind of unfair um, i'm pretty sure PUBG does this so i definitely think if they do implement it somehow into duos and squads they should wait until everybody on the team is wiped or obviously if you don't get wiped you just can't see it or until the game finishes you can see how you died if you did get eliminated early another benefit that would come out of implementing kill cams are for the players that aren't that great at the game they can see how they died and see if they can implement it somehow into their play style and see if they can you know polish up how they play maybe making them a little bit better at the game it's kind of like you know newer players watching youtube videos of say ninja or some other you know really good top tier players seeing how they play it basically be the same thing but just in kill cams with other players rather than those bigger guys on you know on the platforms another benefit to implementing kill cams is the potential of finding more cheaters in the game um that way if you do die by say someone under the map which i feel i'm pretty sure they fixed them all under the map um you know glitches and stuff like that but say if there was another glitch that somebody was doing and you know it's not something that people know about you can just report them right away kind of like csgo does it um but they get sent to like a thing and people review it and stuff like that some crazy stuff csgo is doing with all that but um i definitely think that'd be a good idea you can get more cheaters and you know catch those that are cheating under the radar now a downside to this i could see being implemented is the fact that the amount of strain that's going to put on console players um, most pc players have good enough pcs where it could handle all this stuff you know happening in the game now i don't know how much these servers on console can really hold up against you know kill cams and all that stuff so i don't know how that's gonna work they'd have to basically fix everything in the game before they implement that because they are having some lag issues say when you land tilted you get that lag spike the big lag spike in the beginning or when you go through doors it sometimes it lags randomly um so i definitely think it's going to be something that they have to work on um and and they have to stabilize the game fully before they implement this feature but i definitely think this feature should come at some point 
um, if not in solos, definitely duos and squads, just to see how you guys die as a team. Um, not like, you know, mid-death, but after your team dies or something like that. Just to see how people play and stuff like that. But yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments section down below. If you guys enjoyed, drop a like, subscribe if you guys are new, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.